Hey everybody, it's John from Salsa Brava, Fat Olives. Today is Thursday, May 7th. So, to begin with, a great big mea culpa. Let's discuss all things Cinco de Mayo, the biggest train wreck in the history of my career. Uh, first of all, we're so grateful for all of you coming out. The good news is, based on the response, people are ready to come out and eat. Uh, we saw our pop-up taco stand with 90 people deep at some points. Um, we're going to kind of reevaluate that. We will stay with that. We'll talk more about it. Uh, but let's talk about what happened on Cinco de Mayo. Um, at 5.15, roughly 300 of you beautiful people got online and ordered food through Mobile Bites. Each one of those orders translated into about two to three plates of food. And before we knew it, we were 900 orders deep within an hour. And that is off the charts and unmanageable. At 6.15, we pulled the phones, we pulled the mobile bites, and we stopped taking orders. And we were still 700 orders deep, which is way more than we can handle. Our kitchen is set up for 140 people. Our dining room is 140 people, and we're staring down at... 700 orders so uh i need a pass we need a pass we apologize um there's no way to regulate this there's no way to monitor it there's no governor switch and so we are looking at and they're working on that with mobile bits right now how we can manage the influx but the good news is people want to eat out we're super grateful all of us in this industry in the mexican restaurant space and flagstaff spoke the next day and we were all under the same, like that was way too much. All the ships went down. So uh, we appreciate you. We love you. And uh, um, thanks for coming out and seeing us on Cinco de Mayo. So what's next? Uh, we have word from the state that we can open this Monday, um, May 11th. We are not going to open this Monday, May 11th. Um, we're looking for a little more guidance. Uh, we believe that might come through today, but you know, I attended the Northern Arizona School of Hotel Restaurant Management. I did not attend the Northern Arizona School of Hotel Restaurant and Epidemiology. This is above my pay grade. So, uh, and then you are all seeing what happened at Flagstaff Shelter Services. There's some real hot spots here. Your safety is absolutely imperative. The safety of my staff, the safety of my family, you. So we're not going to open. And we're going to reevaluate this on a week by week basis. What we do know is this. We will continue on Tuesday night to do our pop up taco stand. We can manage that and we can do it safely. We are today going to look at what the spacing looks like in the restaurant, although we're not going to pull the trigger. We're going to continue with curbside at both restaurants, Salsa Brava and Fat Olives. In Fat Olives, we are looking at doing a by reservation only on the patio every two hours, not to exceed six people. We're going to continue with what we, the guidelines that we've come up with, taking our employees temperature when they arrive, asking them if they've been quarantining, wearing masks, wearing gloves, uh, social distancing. Uh, we're going to continue with all that protocol. Uh, and we, I believe we'll be doing that for quite some time. Um, again, we're going to reevaluate this on a week by week basis. Uh, we're looking for more guidance from the CDC, from the Arizona Restaurant Association. I know we're looking at things like uh, everything will be served on to-go. You'll have one-time use menus, um, plastic wear or turtle friendly wear, however you want to look at it. We're going to try to maintain our environmental uh, footprint. But we just don't feel great about opening the doors on Monday the 11th and so we're not. So continue to use our curbside both stores, the greatest pizza in the universe, the greatest tacos in the world. Uh, we look forward to serving you. And, uh, and stay tuned because we'll be doing a lot more of these PSAs, these public service announcements. Announcements We want to keep you involved. Um, and then lastly, we're organizing a kind of, a, I'm calling it a master Zoom uh, with all the uh, restaurant owners in town where we can discuss where we're at, how we feel we should move forward. And that above all of that, we've got to put safety first. So look for that in the next 24 to 48 hours. If you're in the industry, we're going to be reaching out. We're going to try to organize and just let everybody share their thoughts, where they're at, where they're heading, um, and all of our hopes and dreams. So thank you so much. Thanks for the Cinco de Mayo response. Come see us for pop-up tacos on Tuesday. Continue to order curbside. Support all the restaurants in the town. 
We love you. We miss you. We cannot wait to embrace you. Thanks.